doing much today. <laughs> in fact, in your own words, today should be the day that you should contribute the most. Mm. What did I say? Remember, if you say when you're saying fans are emotional, fans get. I am not that bracket of fans though. Correct, na? I am not. <laughs> That's what I am trying to say. Because you insisted that you are not that bracket of fans. Yeah. Since you are a more objective, more... Today is the day where you can be objective and you can talk about it. I, See, I, winning, when they won, you are not in those fans who would get excited. As you show. Right? Because you again... Huh? Yeah. You said you are not. So now they have lost, then your sets of fans who are critical and look at their team objectively. Today then should be the day for that fan the to talk the most. It's 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 going to be in equal measure like it was the last time as well because when nothing. is it that you? Uh, what is that movie in um, uh, Gangs of Asipur? Yeah. Tera khun kab kholega? What is that? Acha. Tera tera khun kab kholega? Tera pesal. 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 So. Mirza. No, no. That's not Mirza. Gangs. Wasn't Gangs of Asipur also the same movie where he's asking Sharmata, "Why?" You should be asking him that also. So, Sharmate okay, ki ho! One, and you've done so much that day you don't want to talk because you're saying you're not that kind of. Today they've lost, so then today <laughs> should be the thing where you. What do you mean today also? I want, so, my question is like it was asked in Gangs of Asap. There are khun kab kholega fe. Kab kab. See again, I, I've seen the team finish bottom, I've seen them finish uh, second last. My expectation for the seasons were anyway middling, let's say. And unless I'm getting the trophy, I'm not going to be a satisfied fan anyway. So anything, you know, without the trophy means absolutely, you know, plain gin, nothing to me. I'm not satisfied, let's say. So a top four finish doesn't get me anything. And I will only be satisfied when there is a trophy to show. Otherwise, a loss. Of loss. So you will have some critical comments to come up with. I'm not I, I had made that there's one thing like at the halfway stage that we talked about to take away, uh, you know, from the Delhi uh, batting, which was yet to come. I'll talk about that because that's exactly what has happened as I said at the midway stage and we don't have much to talk about apart from that instance uh, and we will we will talk about uh, that one knock that is worth talking about one that is of relevance as well not just from uh, DC's point of view or the IPL point of view but even as far as Indian cricket is concerned and I think if there's anything worth talking about again uh, KKR were anywhere top three they've gone top of the table now huge net run rate uh, booster and what not. So it doesn't tell you much about their form or anything. But what it does tell you is about Rishabh Pant and uh, that is what affects uh, IPL and Indian cricket far more at the moment. Uh, not bother. What a, they say about a, a West Indian getting runs uh, in a freak manner is not, it doesn't tell me much. That's what I'm saying. Winning doesn't tell you much. Losing doesn't. What do they say that? No, but I told you. Fan of the team that you are, or fans are an extension of the personality of the team or whatever. Mm. So, Harshit has been as thanda in victory and in loss, just as quite his franchise has been <laughs> on the field. Quite similar in victory. See, I I remember <laughs> so Delhi aren't in my top four for a reason, which is why I am not going to overreact. Let's say with no, no, no. a heavy defeat like this again. Had I lost by. Or they had Delhi, let's say, lost by a margin of about 20 runs or a 106 run margin as it is. Yes, it tells you it's a hammering. It's not something that you wanted, let's say, in front of your name as a team. But uh, you want anyway, got to get a point beat, whatever margin. Or, and I don't see them making the top four anyway. So net run rate also, I'm not too bothered about 100 runs, 20 runs. Uh, so basically, when you come to office during the Delhi case, there's not much expectation. Either winning or losing, it's okay. No. Like whatever, something will happen. Either they'll win or they'll lose. Everything hmm. is okay. Pa no, no, again, uh, sab si. sab CS, si. CSK, CSK victory was a pleasant surprise, as I said. You were not very surprised. I said. You were shocked. I was shocked and then I later Mira selection was. Uh, and yeah, it was. It came across as a pleasant surprise. And there's no yeah. harm in admitting that you beat the better looking team on paper. Uh, and somebody that everyone touts to be there uh, in the top four. Not so much, let's say, KKR for me. Uh, and which is why I went in thinking that this would again be a match of equals. It didn't turn out to be that way. That's a separate matter altogether. But uh, yes, the foundation was laid by uh, Sunil Narayan and Delhi never really recovered from there. Plenty going wrong. I won't call into question the batting that much because the lower order troubles we knew are there. It was again something that happened all over again. Uh, the bowling does worry me a little, but it was a beleaguered bowling attack. I will maintain that. 
and you were just undone let's say by one force and after which there weren't really I would say the resources that you needed or the skillful bowlers you needed to be able to curb somebody like a Narayan uh, the, the the onslaught that he went on or let's say had the kind of guile the smartness none of these bowlers displayed anything close to that and uh, and yeah this was I wouldn't say it was coming but uh, it's uh, they, they, they've got uh, They've been treated uh, in a way, let's say, they, they themselves wouldn't have thought. So, a hard day, a tough day at work. Let's turn our attention to the Kolkata. Oh, man. I'm guessing some more. Oh, oh, this is, this is, I mean, see, I expected, and no disrespect to Arshad, I did think that KKR were the slight favourites going into this match. Not, of course, I know not recent... disrespecting him. You would have said that they had no chance. No, no, actually, disrespect... slight yeah, Disrespectful would be saying stuff like, you know, there's certain teams you don't need to put too much effort into beating. That would be disrespectful. Mm, that's disrespect. But you didn't say that. I didn't say that. I, I was just waiting to get that rebuttal. I, I, I said too. that. I said that. Yeah. And that's fine. Again, that, that still makes it 3-3 and I'll take it. So, the you thing is... That. I said it. Oh, last week. Last match. After the end last of the last match. match. Because I remember saying, I remember fans saying, don't forget. I remember saying, I remember saying <laughs> the that uh, forget. against mm. CSK you needed everything to go right, the perfect game. And I remember saying that day as well that the bowlers, the Delhi bowlers, had the perfect game that they ever will have in this whole season. <laughs> remember saying that because I again I know what to expect of my bowlers. So so that I also remember saying, and it followed re immediately after that that. To beat, let's say, a KKR or an RCV or any other, not against every team, you need the perfect day at work. That was required <laughs> against KKR. You didn't quite need the best effort. Mm. So that's where so Shane comes from. The team heard you and didn't quite put their, put their best effort. And see, that's the thing. I mean, for KKR, this game is such a bonus. If you're looking at it purely from the numbers perspective, as well as confidence numbers, their net run rate was at 1.0 something. It's gone to 2.518. That is a big boost. It's big. That is as massive a boost as you could possibly have gotten short of them absolutely collapsing for like 70, 80, 90. Which, to be fair, even this Delhi team I don't expect to be doing. Because again, another thing that you have to look at this pitch, Shreya Sayer was spot on. It was a belter. There was nothing in it for the bowlers. Precious but little. But what was Rishabh Pant thinking now? <laughs> yeah. He said that it's a slowish pitch. And then you get slower as the game progresses. I didn't see that. Yes, they've lost. But they've lost because of the bowling that Kolkata did and the kind of score that they batted. Yeah. Uh, but he was by no means a slow pitch, a slow pitch. It didn't slow down. Well. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, clearly the reading of the Delhi management comes into question. I'm not going to just blame Rishabh Pant for that. I think the mm. entire team management needs to step up. They've got some big names there. <clears throat> I think we're going to spend considerable amount of time today in the show also talking about Ricky Ponting and his role. That's later. Yeah. For the moment, it's for the Kolkata fans to bask under the glory of oh. the team's performance. So yeah, go on. See, with Sunil Narayan opening, you expect on his best day a quick fire 40. He gave you double that. Ankrish coming in at 3, I, the only logic I could think of at that point is, listen, he's coming in the power play. And so, therefore, you could just say, okay, fine, you're playing your first innings, go in there, get a little bit of those field settings that you're used to. Man alive, he was getting some very good shots away. A little lucky in the beginning, I remember he tried that one sweep, which Khalil yeah, couldn't yeah, quite yeah, get yeah, his fingertips yeah. to. But after that, looked very assured. And by the way, his first three balls that he faced were up against Heinrich Nokia. 4-4-2. 10 runs, 3 balls. That's the intent. And I'm like, wow, this kid's got something. Where's he been all this IPL? After that, Russell coming and doing 41 of 19, I expected. I expected him to be there to kind of push the target up to the 277. But thank you, Ishan Sharma. That didn't happen. Hmm. Rinku Singh, 26 of 8. I mean, again, not being arrogant, but I expected from this guy. He's just proven to be such a superstar now for two and a half seasons that I wouldn't put anything past him. And now we've seen him do it for India also. People tend to forget that one game. I think it was the last game against Afghanistan where he and Rohit went absolutely berserk and he was going slow, slow, slow. Then the death came and he's like, death to the Afghan bowlers. And Saraj. Bolo. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll start from there only, you know. Are you emotional it, it, today? Obviously words I'm, 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 actually, I'm very happy. Yeah. Well, that's what, that, 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 you know, uh, as you said, it's a tough day for Delhi's office, but I think it's one of the best days of Kolkata yet uh, in the uh, tournament. We have been eliminated twice in uh, 2020, 2020 and 2021 season because of the run rate. We were number 5th, we finished 5th, we were eliminated. Now Not 21, 21 we made the final. Sorry, 20 and 22 I think. Yeah, and even 23. Yeah, we finished 5th. 
and uh, that run rate was al always a uh, question. Now a run rate boost, every one of them performing stark. Getting his wicket start. That, so that today was that Bhati Ganga mein haath hona. Everyone, yeah. I, I'll, I'll name. Not only from your team, the other team also. Kristen <laughs> Stubbs Stubb. was saying that he's going to be out. He said today is a chance. Let me get my fifty. Let me save my position. He goes. Uh, Pant second to second. Varun Chakravarti. Chakravarti. Yeah. Pant still got a fifty. I'm talking about complete now. Chakravarti. Varun Chakravarti said taking today a blinder. is the taking chance. Taking a blinder. Let Chakravarti. Let me my place. Varun Chakravarti Three. did that. Right. Two. Uh, who was the other one that Web, we spoke? Vaibhav Varun. No, no, not Vaibhav. See, Vaibhav we know his quality. Not Vaibhav. Um, Mitchell Stark. Ah, How do I forget? Three. The 24.75 crore man. All question 25 crore. Two wickets. Is he worth it, not worth it, whatever. He does his job. So, it's also a game not just in terms of your net run rate boost, which it is. It's also a game where a lot of your players that were probably feeling a bit, you know, nervous Scared. about their position in the playing 11 have cemented that. Though, they would have, I think, probably got slightly longer off because Kolkata are winning. Only two undefeated teams in the tournament so far. Rajasthan, yeah. Rajasthan Kolkata. So, that pressure would have been off. But it's it's good. And, you know, this is what big scoring games do. Or games where you have a lot of total to defend. Even if you're a bit underconfident for not having performed and that's where the pressure gets to you. That's a bit off. So, you can perform at your optimum. And good on both those bowlers that I've talked about. Stark and uh, Varun Chakravarti. To have utilized. To have said that, listen... Today don't have that pressure. If you are any, you know, slightly underconfident, feeling the pressure is not there, let us give our best. Today and any team. any team uh, defending 270 run target, 272 run target, they bowlers have they bowlers were in the game from the first over as well. They were, don't have any pressure. They didn't have yeah. any pressure. But they you were, saw in the SRH game, oh, they felt the pressure because at once, of the start once that day. Mumbai got. Correct. Ishan and Rohit. Correct. Today Delhi was off. Delhi was uh, 11 runs in two overs. I think. Uh, uh, they were four over. wickets down no, in 4.3 overs, 33 for four. That in itself killed off whatever hope. Because what was the key thing that happened, the difference between the MI game and this game? MI had a good start and even when they lost wickets, they didn't lose it in clusters. They lost a couple of wickets, then everyone came and played the natural game. They kept the scoring rate ticking. Then in the end, those few, uh, you know, crucial tight overs in the middle, Seal the deal here. They lost one to me because 33 for four. Forget about it. At that point, any runs they're getting are selfish ones. Just, just to add to Mitchell Stark, just to add, just, just to add to the point of Mitchell Stark. I felt you know today was also a reminder of you know what is it that separates an international level bowler to let's say somebody who for years now has failed to bring the door down and get into the Indian team. And I'm not just you know pointing out at Khalil over here, but several others around Khalil as well. Winding the dishes, you know. On another day, you know, like Stark showed you, if you get proper control, there is swing on offer and that's what separated, I think. Like I said, somebody who bowls at the international level and somebody but who's been... But unfair to Khalil, but he had been better in this tournament than Stark mm. so far. Again, today, yes. today, yes. Again, when testing conditions, testing... They, they, these were, again, there's two ways of looking at it. You could say that it was extremely windy, that's why he lost control. You could also look at it other way saying there was enough wind. Had you had control, you could have gotten some swing as well. Better swing. So and and see, it's the inconsistency as well. Stark making use of the bowler friendly conditions that he got for the first time now. And we were saying in the build up to uh, the match as well because how good Khalil held bowled in the previous match and the channel in which he was bowling, the little swing that he was getting as well. Stark would be licking his lips bowling at uh, Wyzag. Happened exactly that. But Khalil again inconsistency which is why let's say he's not been able to, he's been playing the IPL for uh, a couple of years now but why has he not been able to get to the Indian team or be in the conversation uh, that often as he would have also liked because inconsistency and so also that's you're talking the differentiator. about international level bowlers Stark got two wickets but who are the wickets Marsh and Marsh Warner. and Warner. Warner. Two batters who on the, the day could have taken the game away. And the way he was getting that control and getting the ball to move away, especially from Warner. Mm. Exercise that control. Something which Khalil, Nokia also again, lots to be said about Nokia. He was, uh, again, you retained him, you let go of a Rabada. Uh, yes, you can cut him some slack because he's come off, uh, you know, he's come back after a long injury layoff. But uh, he's been rather expensive and... When you don't have, I'm not saying Mukesh uh, is the leader of the bowling attack, but when you don't have somebody that you share the new ball with at times and in many ways, uh, you know, is uh, taking matters into ha in their own hands when it comes to pace bowling, you've got to be more responsible. 25 runs conceded to um, Riyan Parag the other day all by himself, then getting smacked by Mahindra Singh Dhoni also. 
and then today as well showing Bingo. little control uh, he needs to you know get his act together because otherwise it's a lot of problem for uh, for, for delhi capitals going forward uh, which already there are but uh, in the absence of mukesh and if this this is the way that nokia continues to bowl there's plenty more trouble there there is but again One second, Sarah, oh. you guys didn't allow him to so <laughs> <laughs> i think I, i was thinking about uh, first of all i was throwing out a uh, start it might be the start that was needed you know perfect bowling conditions he got some control showed some control picked two wickets because when you all, any player whether it's international or domestic when you pay such a hefty amount to a certain player there's unset pressure on him hmm. to perform first two matches got smacked of 100 runs in eight overs yeah so start had a point to prove today that whether he performed so or not you cannot bench him ob- for obvious reasons but then if a big bowler like stark wi- for which you have got you know all out in the auctions had to perform he performed kick as nikhil bhai said you know but you know what if I you are winning you make then a, a lot of lot of mistakes are hidden they are under the carpet when you are winning you know players have performed now everyone has performed including our bowlers batters angresh is uh had a made an ipl 15 number 3 and everything you know real test will be in the coming days you know they yeah. have to play two more games then they have five games on the trot at home mm. two more away games and then five games on the you know good start good performance and uh, by everyone but now mo- two three more games but do you think the monkeys off his back i think so I that that's where i disagree yeah. that's where i, I disagree so. i think so you anyway know. we are not going to spend too much time on stark we're going to talk about uh, PS headline that is Rishabh Pant and let's go around the room talking about Rishabh Pant's performance. I know the obvious question is going to be whether Rishabh is now in contention for the T20 World Cup. We go across the room with thoughts from everyone. That See, he was already in contention. If if the board secretary is saying that you know all he needs to do is have a good IPL and he's an X factor match winner. then you knew he just needed to ensure that he gets those runs and at the very least he'd been the conversation he's gone one step further because he's not only getting runs he's getting them at a hefty clip he's ensuring that he gets those big hits in and whilst i think there's plenty to question about his captaincy in this particular match nothing about his approach with the bat was questionable at all what he, what uh, questionable captaincy a uh, couple that? of a uh, couple of bad review calls mm-hmm. very poor because they were clear and obvious edges and he didn't necessarily go for them i thought that was problematic at times maybe i think he i don't know see there was not much he could have done with his bowlers hiding onto nothing but one other point i didn't like was when they were three uh, three down when he was coming and he was, he was supposed to come at four that's his position three or four and he sent abhishek purel like why why would you send purel are you saying that purel would give you more explosiveness if if the criticism of ayer was why did he promote himself higher the criticism of pant should be why the hell did he push himself lower why would you not come in at number 4 reduce the uh, loss margin as much as possible no no he is the kind of player who would back himself to your winning exactly yeah. he can. Like exactly he's one of those I, players even well, i think he has, heard i that. remember a couple of uh, i mean i think it's 20 17 18 types you know, 18 yeah absolutely unbelievable 128 yeah. and all yeah i, I mean, don't know those who knows yeah fair point yeah pant but as a batter as a wicket keeper yeah he's up there he has to be is up he, there is he now making it for you i still would wait and watch i'd play the wait and watch game because again context is very key here of those 55 runs 28 came in venkatesh ayer's over i'm sorry you're not going to be getting any bowler give you gimmies like that unless they play for usa and canada <laughs> to be fair you you do have usa and canada in your group but will rishabh pant be that difference maker in the big games again every other bowler he was facing he got them away but someone like a varun finally got him how by doing something unconventional forcing it wide pulling it a little slow through the air and exploiting the classic pant weakness it was wide of off stump why is he going for a slog sweep that is my forever criticism with pant he'll go for the slog too often one hand lose control you today i'm like why did he go for that shot why not that it just made no sense but okay Other than that, great knock. Agree, but again, twenty-eight of those runs came in Venkatesh Iyer's over. I have to mention that. You know, I think uh, first Rishabh Pant and Rishabh Sub saved Delhi from that embarrassing loss because Delhi were four down. It is and, still and uh, it's still embarrassing. It's, oh, it's still no, embarrassing. One six hundred plus. But this score one six sixty-six looks better compared to a ninety yeah, yeah. or a hundred allowed. You know, 
Pant. Yeah, but game. But you're just Pant, clutching you know, onto straws. Yeah, that's like if you fall yeah. from a height but and you say, you know, you fell from the fifth floor. And I'm like, I didn't die. Floor. I didn't. No, I didn't yeah, die. No, I, but I, I broke saying, all my bones. You know, I'm just saying he performed second consecutive half century. Mm. And as Shane rightly said, you Forget know, the if, loss, if, yeah, but if but uh, you make a point those twenty eight runs century. are removed from this total, then he had nineteen balls, twenty seven runs, six balls he smacked. Then Kitesh is a year, a year over and. If you talk about that place in a T20 World Cup, we'll have to still wait and for. But three, why three. are you guys scrutinizing only uh, Rishabh Pant got the? I mean, at the end of the day, you only look at strike rates. Now, nah? most bowlers. But Rishabh Pant is. You are talking that, about. That you are talking about. Uh, a place Iyer. in the T20 World Cup squad, you know, as uh, Jay Shah said. Who's your number one then? Who's your number one? I think there's no comparison. First of all, between a Jitesh Sharma, between a um, KL Rahul or a Rishabh Pant, the wicket-keeping options for India. I think K L Rahul is there. We will still have to wait. Five. K L Rahul. Yeah. K L is ahead. K L is ahead. Of who? Not three. Not four. But if I see the trend that Indian team selection, you know, but just before a big tournament, being oh, yeah. they always go with experiences. They had played a D K in a 2022 World Cup because of his nice. Ah. He had out, 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 out of nowhere. So I'm 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 just saying, Rishabh Pant coming back. Who are your two wicket keeper? You said K L Rahul is leading. Okay. Who's your second? Second is obvious. Obviously Rishabh Pant, but still he is. Ah, huh? Rishabh Pant. Yeah. Okay. Sec- Sec- so there is no Jitesh, there is no Jurel, there is no we Sanju. Come to you, Harshil. I'm you just, I just want to know if he's no, even he considering these names. Obviously, if we speak these two, the others are not. Your two yeah. are K L Rahul. K L Rahul and Rishabh Pant sec- on second. You know because. Okay. okay. As of now. As of. Now. Yeah. <laughs> <You have laughs> this to is. Say about Rishabh Pant batting. Yeah. yeah. This is this is still fluid because obviously a lot can change by the time you reach what last week of April. It's still the first week of April, really. Uh, but right now I'm sticking with the choices we had, and that's not KL Rahul nor Rishabh Pant. That is Jitesh Sharma and Sanju Samson. It would be woefully unfair to drop them based on their IPL form. One reason, two reasons. One, with Sanju, he always gets the short end of the stick. He can do anything and everything, and that poor guy will just miss out at the last minute. Often times to no fault of his own. Fine, I know his form wasn't good, but you had enough confidence in him to tell him, listen. We have your, uh, confidence in your ability that you can bat anywhere. Even if you have to bat at five six, you can do it. He's barely gotten a chance to do that in India colours. If you're discarding him just before that, then it goes back to the thing: Are you making a player? Are you breaking a player? Mm-hmm. Number one for me has to be Jitesh. Why? He's doing the most thankless job right now, which is getting quick runs at number six. Listen, it's not an easy job. Not everyone is a Rinku Singh, and Jitesh last year, if we remember. Forced his way into the Indian team because he would do it consistently for the Punjab Kings. One little drop off, I am not going to discard him. It would be very, very unfair on the guy because it's the most thankless job. He has to be my first pick. Uh, one more point I have to add. I know you know uh, when a secretary says we are just waiting for Rishabh Pant to get well. Now Rishabh Pant is well, playing for for his team. Then he is an obvious choice to be picked in a T20 World Cup, which is to be picked in a few weeks. Also, I said KL Rahul because the trend has. Been such that whenever you know you are picking a uh, team for an ICC tournament, they always goes back to those experiences, those senior players and everything. So I would be surprised. You know, Sanju Samson always played that format, which of which the World <laughs> Cup is not yeah, in yeah, that yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. The T20 is in ODI and ODI and T20s, and Samson and you know bringing Jitesh Sharma for pick or picking up rather Jitesh Sharma for a T20 World Cup, well, doesn't make sense when you have you know Rishabh Pant is ready. Okay. Fair. I think that Jitesh still for me remains number one contender for that position, which is on offer right now, which is batting at number six, seven for the Indian team. However, I will go one step further and say Sanju Samson, who was made to appear as your number two or the back wicket keeper, because he was the one who was there in the series prior to the T20, uh, prior to the IPL. I think as things stands in four games that we've seen from uh, Rishabh Pant and three from Sanju Samson in little time Rishabh Pant I think has done enough he was always part of the conversation uh, there wouldn't have been let's say a team meeting or, or a BCCI meeting in which Rishabh Pant's name wasn't discussed when uh, once he was declared fit for the IPL and we know that he can fully well keep the wickets as well as he's been consistently doing Two back-to-back fifties. It's not going to be for the first time that Sanju Samson will be shown uh, the, the 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 door uh, out, let's say, or the exit door. Rishabh Pant, I think, has done enough to be part of the conversation even more now, and he becomes number two for me. So two back-to-back fifties, especially. You look at the trajectory. It's a confidence booster. First two matches, what were we critical of? 
uh, his strike rate because he was almost scoring run a ball 26 of 28 13 of 14 those were his scores if i vaguely remember from the first two matches it was almost run a ball now you see the last two matches 50s strike rate going up today more so the variety of shots today there was a no look six there was six over uh, long on there were a flurry of shots that you saw today so there is that confidence also coming back he admitted that he felt rusty he felt nervous on his return to the ipl and we know that rishabh pant comes in with that x factor rishabh pant comes in with reputation he is that uh, you know magnetic personality let's say he is that x factor that has always been talked about across formats so rishabh pant i think has done enough to be number two. I will still have Jitesh number one because again, you're looking at uh, Rishabh Pant scoring a lot of runs, but remember he's scoring them at three, four right now. He will have to do six, seven for the Indian team. But as we've seen in the past, that this Indian team, once it, you know, once it uh, sees that there is potential in a few players, they're okay with them playing out of position as long as they have runs under their belt. So if KL Rahul, let's say, if the only time, because not just Saranj, there are others around as well. I've been reading comments about a few of the pundits who do feel KL Rahul is that other batter, wicket keeper who can still make the Indian squad. And the Indian team will be okay because we've seen that in the past as well. But that would only happen when KL Rahul would give you that 600-700 run season and be in the top four run getters. Forget the strike rate. But that's also not happening for KL Rahul this year as things stand. So... Which is why I think so KL Rahul isn't in the uh, uh, in the top three for me at the moment. Rishabh Pant, number two. Okay. Uh, for me, I'll agree with Shane and uh, Harshit. Jitesh Sharma is clearly your number one. And uh, why? I mean, I'd like to give context to it because Saranj was rather surprised why we picked it. Because he was your incumbent. He was the guy who had been playing non-stop T20 cricket as your first choice wicketkeeper bat batter for the Indian team consistently. Just that now we are into IPL season and public memory is short. So, you know, other names come up. But if you go back to the last few series that India played uh, under first Hardik Pandya's captaincy, later even under Rohit Sharma's captaincy when the full-fledged team was available, minus Arish Appan, even then, Jitesh Sharma was starting. Even when you had the like of uh, Ishan Kishan there, even then Jitesh was starting. Even when you had uh, Sanju Samson in the team, even then uh, Jitesh Sharma was starting. What that tells you is that the Indian team had decided that he needs to bat there. Why did they allow that? He had not one but two outstanding IPL seasons. Doing the unbelievable thing of number seven batting and getting those 200 strike rate knocks, those cameos 30-40, basis which he came into the Indian team. When he came into the Indian team, he replicated that form. It is a place where you more often than not fail than succeed, but Jitesh was able to succeed and then claim his spot as that number one choice wicket keeper batter. I just want to know what is it that has changed, you know, since the last series that India played two, two and a half, three weeks ago versus Afghanistan. Uh, sorry, before that, uh, before the England Test Series. Hmm. This January. Weeks before the England Test Series that they played. What has changed after that? That he suddenly goes out of the public memory. Why that happens is because we have a superstar culture. We sometimes confuse ourselves, mix format. Rishabh Pant is arguably the greatest wicketkeeper batter you've had in Test cricket, no doubt. Wicket Keeper batter, one of the finest in ODI cricket, no doubt. You must also remember Rishabh Pant, the T20 player, had left a lot to be desired before he met with an accident. Mm. He had reached a stage where people would say that he doesn't deserve a spot in that T20 team. It had reached, which is why you started looking at options, which is why you're looking at an Ishan Kishan or even asking a KL Rahul to do wicket keeping, batting, or even go to a Jitesh. The genesis of that was because Rishabh was out of form. Why I'm saying all that is to put into context, into perspective. Why a player needs to be selected ahead of the other. Otherwise, we tend to get jumbled up in format, images, personalities and all of that. So, this being said, for me, the first choice we could keep a batter still remains Chitesh. The second, I think, will be open because it's been a musical chair. It's been a musical chair because Sanju only got the chance because Ishan Kishan had been sent on exile. Mm. So, when he was sent, then Sanju got a chance. Sanju may get a chance or not get a chance. You're right. History tells us that he the board be. has been very unkind to him. 
and he is an easy uh, you know person to drop very easy without too much hangama which isn't fair all the time so maybe that happens but as i said right now rishabh pant is pushing his case i think he is he may well be ahead slightly ahead he's clearly ahead of an ishan kishan who we don't think may come back very soon he's clearly ahead of a kl rahul who i think has not been part of the scheme of things even in t20 cricket he is now got slightly ahead of a sanju samson also i think because of the name and the reputation he brings also he is a left hander also like jitesh can bat lower down the order also if given others are not natural at that position whether it is a sanju samson whether it is a ishan kishan whether it's a kl rahul they are not natural at that position only two natural at that position jitesh as well as rishabh pant you are going to take two wicket keeper back there is a good chance you take both of them rishabh of course being a left hander because we were in a situation saying let's push jadeja to be number 4 or something like that to get a left hander if you can get a rishabh pant in 11 that will allow you but i still think that that race for the second spot is still a long way off i think there are a few more games to go some outstanding performances here and there by somebody could change things but if you But, but a gun to my head you ask yeah. me to pick today i may be tempted to pick jitesh of course maybe rishabh pant slightly ahead mm. of a sanju samson very unfair very mm. unfair yeah. but right now i think it could still change given that we still have a few games but right now put a gun to my head my photo rishabh pant so he may i mean you know uh, personally whoever gets picked personally as an indian fan i couldn't be happier that uh, rishabh is firstly playing yeah and then playing the way he is and he's keeping because there are a lot of doubts about whether he'll be able to keep not be able to keep and all of that he is doing that really really happy for it such absolutely a, such a good recovery in such short time that to playing international level cricket now when the one and half year from the accident that that, that horrific accident he has faced it, it's commendable to return from so fast from the accident it might Three end months. people's career it it might force you to retire or something the It was life threatening. Yeah, it was. But life threatening. No, he Kudos. Ha, he said that. Ha, so the interview. Me, me, me. Ha, ha. Ha, so me. 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 Ha, so Okay, uh-huh. let's start with the KK. <laughs> oh, please start with him. I'll no, I'll no, take no, a minute. No, no. I'll okay. go. I'll go first. For me, it was Varun Chakravarti's catch, no, no, no. diving forward and catching that ball was was uh, was brilliant. Because I'm not saying he's not a good fielder, but Chakravarti and Narayan falls into same category when it comes to fielding. <laughs> They're rather slow fielders. They are, but he's diving forward and catching that ball. That was the moment for me. And not hurting oh. himself. Yeah, true. Pulling his uh, uh, some muscle or hamstring or whatever, but. That was the moment of the match. But see, that's what confidence does, right? He knows that he can go for it, and even if he drops it, no problem. But When you have that mindset, more often than not, you tend to catch it. Moment of the match for me. No, no, you'll come now last. Yeah, I'll come last. Thank yeah. you. I think the way, uh, the manner in which that Ishan Kishan, uh, beg your pardon, Ishan Sharma <laughs> knocked over, <laughs> knocked over Andre Russell. I think that for me was a moment to cherish. Yeah, I mean, in a game as I mentioned earlier, in a game which is being dominated by batters all along, a batting paradise, bowlers getting hammered. For a bowler to produce the moment of the match, as Arshik points out, that yorker, which even drew some applause from the batter himself in Andre mm. Russell, is certainly a moment. I would have picked that moment, but since Arshik has, I'll pick another moment. And for me, it will be the Rinku six one hundred six that he hit of Andre Nokia, quick pace. I mean, when he hit it, I thought mistimed it, no chance. Clears the boundary easily, and in a game which saw about 40 hits to the boundary in an innings, which saw about 40 hits to the boundary, uh, to be the guy who hits the best boundary, it has to be a very special shot. And that shot by Rinku Singh, one handed of Andre Nokia, six over extra cover. That's the moment for me. So, no, the, I mean, the other thing is that I'm a huge Rinku Singh fan. So uh, who isn't? Just <laughs> who isn't? By the way, uh, sorry, I'll interrupt yeah, yeah. you a moment. Go ahead. But talking about T20 World Cup, after today, if anyone says or has any doubt about Rinku Singh whether he makes it or not in the <laughs> team, I'm gonna smack his face. I don't. Think, I don't think he has. Just be ready to, to play with five right. bowlers. Simple as that. He has nothing to. We made now. the eleven. You do whatever you do. Yeah. 
whatever you do no question on rinku singh if you do not have rinku singh i don't think you needed today's innings also Haan, he I had done agree. enough I agree, but you know what he is giving, giving constant reminders he is giving constant reminders this question people still question till the world cup see team then you will have to go in with that mantra okay we are uh, again like with pakistan you knew in 2022 five bowler fifth bowler will be nawaz smack him take your chance then do pakistan or no india will be in a similar position all of the matches that they will be yes. playing hardik pandya will be a fifth bowler he will have to bowl all four and dinku singh will have so to add numbers hmm. totally it's, it's done it's, no no it's sort of people may want six bowlers but i'm saying whatever it is We have to do many shows. Uh, Harshit for making the eleven. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we spelled it. I am. No, I may not agree with that eleven, but I will still put Rinku in. How I do it is another thing. I may still right. want a six point. Right now he is in. I am only saying that's why. If anyone questions that Rinku does not make it to the playing eleven, then I'm going to lock him in a room with Harshit with no phone, no TV, <laughs> no entertainment, and all you need to do is just talk about <laughs> Delhi Capitals to him. So that will be your punishment. <laughs> If any of you question, so don't. So ah, what this sorry, two no, two no, things? No. One, you're talking about that reminders. It takes me back. So I'm an ardent hip hop fan, right? And one song I remember from Jay Z. Now, of course, don't need any introductions. Who the man is? Done everything there is to. But there was one time, latter stages of his career, he had this one song called Reminder, where the entire song for three minutes is him listing every little accomplishment of his. This was basically Rinku Singh's reminder, okay. and the catchline of that song was, "I think I have to give you a reminder." Here it is. That's what this was from Rinku Singh. Maybe some uh, content creator will cut a reel of Rinku Singh short uh, with that song. Oh, maybe I can try it. How to do it? You get uh, some copyright. Uh, we can post. No, I can post it on my account. We can, no? Sorry, we can if I get the copyright strike, what's down? We can cut it. We cannot post it because of obviously. No, but he can on his post. No, I don't reels. If you post on Instagram reels, then you can put the song. Then you don't get copyright. You do, you do. After point, you do. No, no, not if you use the song that's there on Instagram. No, already, already. Yeah, then you don't get it. Speaking about audio. Yeah. You can't share it externally. Yeah, but you can. But on Insta, you can. Yes, on Instagram, you can. What is who is? By the way, since you know, who is MC Stan? Is a rapper. Yeah, MC Stan is an Indian rapper. He's a rapper, rapper. rapper now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, because today I was made to do that test. Gen Z test. I was asked Stan, and I was like MC Stan. Are you Stan? I said M&M rapper, fa- and I was M&M like thinking fan. the Eminem Stan. Ah, so. Eminem Stan. I know that, but I was just thinking later. I hope he's. Hey, MC Stan. MC Stan. MC Stan. So MC Stan. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, that part we got right. From the Eminem song, correct, correct, correct. I'm pretty sure you must have learned. Because I, I that's way past. Oh, Gen uh, Gen Z slang. Slang. How how many new Gen Z acronyms did you pick up? Nothing I knew. None because they were like G R G R W M. I'll have to uh, G R W M. Spend time. With Get ready with me. Half my age. Any of these that we can pick and start <laughs> including in our titles and our slugs? No, no, Delulu I picked up. Delulu is the solution. Delusion, delusion, right? Delusional. Yeah. yeah. It's delusion. yeah. So Lulu is solution. Do yeah. <laughs> those two I know. And I I didn't know. I, I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I Okay, let's turn our attention to moment of, my moment. moment of the match. Who saw your moment? moment. Yeah, so my I realize obviously batting highlights plenty, but I agree with your point. On an absolute road, you have to pick a bowling moment. Varun's those two wickets and two balls. Oh. Whatever hope they had of making it a respectable loss, killed. Pant and done. Akshar. Yeah, Pant and Akshar back to back balls, Akshar. done. Nice way. And by the way, what I also liked about those is he. I remember last season, beginning of last season, he was coming off a poor 2022. and he said that look i have to stick to my strengths which is bowling it quicker through the air this year i think a lot of people have picked up that he bowls it quicker and would thus basically treating him like a medium pacer both those balls what what is the key difference he mixed up his speed yeah. slowed it down that's Pant, the key yeah, with being both 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 you're right that's the key with being a mystery in, spinner you have that ability to kind of like mix up your lines length spin pace where as a batter you would want to go for the shot Both and then is, received. Both and not received. just that, wide and more importantly, he bowled the wrong one, the googly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it spun away. Huh? Good ones. Okay. Uh, since majority of our moments, barring one, has been Kolkata Knight Riders, we've discussed the, uh, the strengths of Kolkata. Let's now turn our attention to Delhi. Uh, Harshit listed out uh, a full essay in terms of where all they faltered and how well 
ke kya did and where all uh, you know delhi faltered in today's game but there is a point that i wanted to make about delhi per se as a franchise see when we were joking here or you know mocking all of that is in good humor but it's also because delhi as a franchise has now created this reputation now remember i know this is a franchise that never won a title it was in a different avatar earlier but uh, you know people had hope when they changed ownership they came up with a new franchise they came close uh, reaching the final reaching the playoff so it happened and mm-hmm. it's only going down but my point is if you and you talk about ipl being such a doggy dog world competitive corporate structure you know mumbai indians removing uh, the captain rohit sharma all of that clearly i mean delhi is also a corporate run team right my only issue is that the the year that they reached the final they had no business losing that final they were the most uh, favorite to win it the strongest team you know that season yet they lost it and nothing was done it was taken as if like oh it's great at least we reached the final celebrated i don't think a mumbai or a chennai would have looked at it that way i think that's the first mistake that delhi made right that's okay praised everyone cheered everyone just happy re- once you have that attitude that is happy reaching final see what happens after that what it does is it inculcates a culture of oh, okay what we are doing is more than expectation yeah. and see where they have gone and that's why i'm saying somewhere they'll have to draw the line there it's also run by a, a you know corporate two corporate giants in that uh, mm. and i think that's the problem no but that's what i'm saying they have to eventually reach yes. a stage where they need to decide and my point is today you had a situation where and why i'm taking today's example you had a shreyas ayer talk about in an interview which is been multiple times talk about how gautam gambhir is really helping the team where it is you know gautam gambhir you can see is a hands on coach being active he's always there feeding and shreyas himself said that i keep getting constant messages as to what to do mm. and he mentioned it he's been like this football type of manager right mm. it's making a difference there my point is ricky ponting as great a player as he is for so long he has been allowed to carry on there is mm. no accountability i'm sorry the team is going from final to playoffs to not making it to the playoffs to now reaching a say we finished bottom of the table but there needs to be an accountability the constant has been ricky ponting i'll give an example if because you, a lot of you will say ricky ponting great player or all of that so they'll give that respect i don't think he he's a very good player one of my favorite but i still regard brian lara as a bigger player than ricky ponting Brian Lara was let go after one season by Sunrise Hyderabad. Mm. That's mm. where you are in this in football you see it more often than not top level managers you especially with big teams if you have the big team mentality you let go. I don't know what Delhi is doing honestly. They have been going down and there is no accountability. Uh Ricky Ponting is allowed to continue. If I am a Delhi fan, I would want to see some change. Can I make any changes to the personnel? No. That's the team that has been picked. and there are there are teams that have gone with similar strengths or similar looking sides and reached the playoffs and done well there are examples of team how does that happen that happens to the management so you can have all these social media videos of the team doing well and camaraderie and great speeches and all of that at the end of the day results need to be seen and and great players don't necessarily make great coaches i think it's high time that you need to look at someone like a ricky ponting and and ask him boss what's happening By the way, the same Ricky Ponting was let go by the Mumbai franchise Mumbai, as yeah. captain in the middle. Twenty thirty. They got Rohit Sharma. Things changed. So if if Delhi really wants to improve, then you need to be slightly ruthless in your decision making. You can't be okay, legend, and you know we'll allow it to continue. But Because I think, frankly, results aren't. I, I think they are they are noticing it in this season. Two, it, two. It might be the last season for. No, it's anyway. It's his last Next year in the contract. Contract. Overall contract. So I think that that. So they have two given problems. That two problems that, that I see. But that allows you a season or two of worse performance, no? But now, see, in, in football also, I know there are like you are sitting right now in the in a situation with all uh, for Indian football where you have a contract with a coach which is slightly long term. But if you need change, you let go. Hmm. Big teams do that. Yeah. That even if you have few years left on the contract, you sign a three year. They say, okay, fine. You take your whatever. You take the compensation. Extra, yeah, compensation. Yeah. Yeah. No. You need immediate improvement. Uh, If you get a new coach, you're not going to get same results. I I I want franchises to realize that winning or losing is another thing. But if you're not, you're losing and you're doing nothing about it. But I, I think they might have given him, him the last chance with the mega auction coming up in 2025. Young. They might be 
thinking at a new new team all together getting a, a new yeah, setup sure. and everything that if it doesn't happen after this season also then yeah, nah. <laughs> god save them two, two things that go horribly wrong for delhi i think this co ownership model isn't quite working out one of course see because it affects your auctions as well because there's one party that turns up in one auction then the other and the other they, no, they take they have a three year system yeah so they, year, so they do turns and also the, so they do turns in that sense then of course uh, the fact that you know like you said great players don't always make great coaches here it's a it's a, it's a matter of you know two great players in the same dugout as well and often times what happens is then as team manager you don't know who who's advice to take because it's a clash of philosophies also at times so it's sort of ganguly on one side ricky ponting the other uh, one who knows indian cricket the other who's a serial winner ganguly in his own right a winner as well but uh, you get my point so what happens uh, at times is you don't know who's advice to take and they can be conflicting at times that's when it becomes difficult for the management what option to take what not to take uh, so having two big personalities in the backroom staff uh, also may not always be the right thing i think rcb are another example they've okay, had the big the names in the thing stop time. with uh, what was he is the coach dada is a mm. mentor Head no, of he's director. director of cricket. He's director, director of cricket. Of cricket. cricket. Director, so director of, of cricket is usually the guy. It's like you know, in a club, director is the guy who does appointments, like mm. you're yeah. the coach or the thing. But he's not an executive, day-to-day, mm. uh, you know, but, functioning guy like strategizing. But Harshad is right. He might have, you know, he. Gets involved in everything, making uh, an on and the field, off the field. Look, well. look at the That's difference. He, yeah, I, I look, think so. Look at the difference. The there is somebody like a Solanki who's there in GT, and uh, you know GT have been doing well. But who's who do we know as far as GT think tank but is see, concerned? It is Nehra. Correct. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying director of cricket there. Does not take day-to-day decisions. Exactly. Like so here, but here when the so camera is panned to the Delhi dugout, what do you see? You don't see just. But, uh, but he's sitting. He's sitting right alongside that's him. That's he's that's having that's the same that's conversation. That's do you see Solanki having the kind of conversation? No. But also, even if Solanki was going to do it, because he's not such a big personality. Yes. He's never focused on. But my point is, director of cricket usually takes the macro decision. Like, okay, mm. I should have Saranchas coach. you know we should have a marketing decision say also in terms of you know who the manager is who probably should be the captain he'll ever say those macro decision not like okay bat first bowl first i know that ganguly may have been chipping in sort of ganguly with his you know advice or suggestions as he will being a former captain but i think the buck stops with the coach eventual decision of what 11 who your sub is what to do in what situation who is to go in which batting order what is your approach i don't think director of cricket would which is where see and that's where you need so. greater transparency no franchise has that kind of transparency the other thing let me let's say take it to football where the director of football the role is assigned acts more of a bridge between the management and the coach and then the operations part is with you know the, that the director of uh, uh, okay. football then takes care of so the role is very defined and even then it's a clash at times because not every club let's say manchester united for the longest time didn't have a director of football you look at some of the other clubs they've got so and they would function now nah, without a director but they, how, they won't win anything But you got it. Also, they're not winning. No, but it's a it's a very years of rot set in. It's a it's a it's a it's a reason. And again, what what does that tell you? Uh, not every club can do it perfectly as well to give that kind of role clarity. And how we don't know that there's no transparency that we know at the moment as to what sort of Ganguly's role clarity. Then is, is he really not chipping in uh, with those thoughts? Is he really not having a say? I doubt. Given the personality and the reputation, the stature he comes with, I think there is. the the lines are extremely blurred and that's hurt the team far more so true, true. You, you cannot take or game could have i can't say for sure it's the personality could have like a personality like dada cannot stay away from game for so long sure. being a director he's chipping in with advice but, but will he be so hands on with it but i'm saying both of them sitting in the front row talking it's every time the cameras pan on they're discussing something then after a point in the strategic time out ponting goes in the field say something so i'm i'm very sure That Dada, it's difficult. And uh, how, no, how do no, we know no. that they will no, be no. on the same page always? I have one yeah, counterpoint here, so which is what, where the confusion is going to be with Ricky Ponting. See, I'm saying, as but a you coach, don't know how the power play is inside. If you think Ricky Ponting, the guy that he is, but he will. I'm just saying, you're you're right in the sense that certain places, the director of cricket can be very powerful, and the coach will have to follow. Yeah. I can't be in this situation, my friend. Is the Ricky Ponting we're talking about? But if he's taken the role of being a coach, he is going to. But you take, know, you can. You, he will take advice, of course, because Sarvi is a captain. You can chip in, keep coming up with your suggestion. 
because you are there, you are seeing the game. But eventually, the as I said, buck stops with the coach. I'm, I'm saying, let's say somebody, let's say somebody like it, a Mukesh it, it Kumar. Possible, I'm just you know, saying. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It, it, so. it might be possible. You know, uh, being this Indian Premier League. Uh, Ponting being uh, being an Australian, the other being the director of cricket, it Ponting might. Uh, I'm I'm listen. I I think so. That Ponting Ponting the cricketer is different. Ponting the coach and is different. No 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 no. no. I'm I'm sorry. Hold on. I, I, I think so. I need to I puncture so. this entire theory in one simple way. Where was Saurav Ganguly in 2020, 21, and 22 when Delhi were great, then average, then below average? He was the BCCI president. Can we hold him accountable for 21 and 22? Oh, no. So but this buck was, stops with Ricky he Ponting. Was, he was around in 2019 as well. Yeah, huh? but, but he, they were, he didn't come for every game at that time. Uh -huh. so he was around then. So it's not like he doesn't know the system. But or 2019 they reached the final. No, 2020. 2020. 20 they reached the final. No, he was in the season they reached the final. Okay. No, no, 2020 he 20 wouldn't 20 he have become the president. president. 19 yeah, is he again was the president. that yeah, whole rebranding thing happened and all. Huh, that's when he was. He was the uh, CAB president at that point, which is why he wasn't always involved. So that's what I'm saying. The the if you have to see over a season, season after season, you will have to. And again, if by the way, if I was to go with your thing that he has a coach is allowing him to be dictated by the director of cricket, even then that's a mistake. It's done. So, as I said, because but because see, when you have to look at the result now, it will always come down to a captain and a coach and those kind of people. Now, if you allow, there will be some. See, I, I tell you, there are a lot of people and I think Ricky Ponting would be one. He'll say, listen, if I'm here, you allow me to do your job. There are also those, I don't think they're the ones who will haggle for a job. They'll say, sorry, if you're pressurizing me too much, I don't want to continue. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. He could, he'll continue with his Channel 9 commentary or wherever else he does. He does commentary while he's not playing. I hmm. could do that. There could be other franchises who could take him if he's available in the market. Australian cricket team could take him. But my point is... Two ways. One, I think the buck stops with him, so he has to. Secondly, if he's allowed to be dominated and taking others' advice, and that's why the team is messing up, even then he's to be blamed. Hmm. He has to say, sorry, I can't, supposing if I have a responsibility, if I have to do a show, okay, and that's my responsibility, and I mess it up, and I'll say, you know what, that guy who came from some other department and told me, do this, and I did it. So blame will it. be mine only, you know. Hmm. Why did I listen? I'll be told, why did you listen to do it? It's your responsibility to do that thing. And also, I mean, when it comes to Delhi Capitals as a franchise as a whole, and I'm talking about the Capitals since they got rebranded the Capitals, because Delhi Daredevils, the team, were in the bracket of Punjab Kings and Sunrisers for doing befuddling things. How much was Venu Kopal Rao for, for? Something 10 crores. 10 crores. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's, that's two days back we were yeah, talking yeah. about Venu Venu Kopal Rao, Rao. Again, 10 crores. <laughs> which, is why, which is why I say it so often on the show as well. For me, IPL happened first two years and after which I don't know the next eight years. <laughs> So that's the thing with Delhi, even after the rebrand, I thought initially early years in that 2019 phase, they were building a very good team. You had Ayer the captain, Pant the explosive batter, you had Shaw, your bowlers had Rush Rabada Shayas, and Nokia. There was Avesh, all these guys coming You had together. a very solid unit and then you somehow frittered all that away. You overachieved, or at least you felt you overachieved by making that one final. And rather than that becoming a start point, that became an end point. It takes me back, and, and see, this is one thing, this is one of the major downsides of having a closed league like the IPL. What is the IPL modeled on? American leagues, franchise based leagues, where there is no promotion or relegation. You know, a team like Delhi Capitals can faff around for 10 years. And not have a single which is why uh, and, and I want you know, to add speed to that, of which is to why, give which is why which is why I take finishing fifth also as a relegation so for me. They, they can because do I am not satisfied till the time were, I'm winning the you trophy. Right. So you finishing right. when you said you they made the final, they were happy. Oh both, they both, were that both was both their now, finishing yeah, so. point. Go, I just told you and I mentioned it at that time. When they lost the final now, you should have seen the kind of messaging that came out and the hmm. videos that came out and you know, whether it was from the owners, coach, we are great, we are proud of our boy. I at that moment said a Mumbai would never do it. Would never no, do it. Mumbai a Chennai would, would never, never do it. it. Dare I say a KKR with Gautam Gambhir around would we never We were do heartbroken it. in 21. Never do it. True. Never do it. They, for them, it's losing an IPL yeah. title. Correct. The aim was not to reach final. As soon as you showed that mentality, that's it. That Again, you, need, the you needed the kind of mentality where you see, let's say, in the Champions League, you know, let's say, Somebody like an Mbappe, how happy was he getting the golden boot? No, he wasn't, right? There are players you see in the Champions League final, if they're on the losing side, they'll take that, they'll rip that, you know, medal. Silver medal. Immediately, they don't want it around their neck. You don't win a silver, you lose a gold. Correct. That is a fact. 
that's the fact that most champion team go by. That is their idea. And in fact, they are champions. In fact, when I look at, say, closed leagues, another uh, sport in recent times that has become very much a closed bunch, Formula 1, a sport I love dearly. But ever since they got taken over by American owners, owners Liberty Media, they've become and operating increasingly in the franchise style model, which made sense for one reason. At one point, there were too many F1 teams going bust. Now, it's the other end of the effect. You have too many teams who are just happy to be there. And in fact, the team that I have to compare them to is the current Alpine F1 team, which is the works team of Renault. Now, why is this important? It's because in F1, it's a known fact. If you are an engine manufacturer, you should have an advantage. Yet, Renault is the only engine manufacturer on the grid right now that doesn't have a single customer. It is very telling because everyone knows their engine is rubbish. And they are the only ones who are happily plugging along, telling themselves their Delulu is their Solulu. Because every year they'll tell themselves they've had, from 21, they had a, uh, they had a uh, two, three, no, sorry, they re-entered the sport in 2016. And they're like, we have a three-year plan. The three-year plan went to crap. So then they're like, no, we'll do a hundred race plan. The hundred race plan flopped even harder. They lost not only their star driver and Fernando Alonso, they also lost their uh, next big thing driver to another team. Which, by the way, they did a shine shah of Riri because they promoted him to the team with his press conference codes. This man, never driven an F1 car, puts out a tweet saying they put out a release without my codes. That is the shambles this team is in. And they are a works customer team. This is, they have Renault's backing. And to put it in context how big Renault is, it's basically run and owned by the French government. It is French pride. And they are squandering it. Why? Because they have that approach in the management. Oh, we're happy to be here. We're happy to be competing for fourth, fifth. Nonsense. If you are a closed clubs, club of yeah. 10 sports, of 10 teams, all of them getting revenue in a good way now, very good way, you need to be competing. All of these teams in F1 or in the IPL, they're all very profitable. If you're cut off the revenue, broadcast revenues in the thousands of crores, you're not worried about insolvency. Yet, how is it that you can't get better people to do your job? I sometimes criticize a Punjab Kings or an SRH for trying too hard of sacking managers and sacking coaches and directors of cricket and this and that. RCB have done the same thing, but at least they're trying. They're doing something. Delhi have been stuck in this rut for God knows how long. In this time, I've seen KKR change four coaches. RCB change a coach every year. Punjab no, Kings it, follow it, suit. It's good if you're not changing coaches, but so long as results are happening. Ah, but here results aren't coming. No results I, th I think, I think going forward, going forward, I think uh, next year again, we still have uh, more than half the season to pan out. But I think Delhi as a franchise are Zoom. looking at, as let's say every struggling franchise would, to the next big thing which is going to be the auction. And which is where I think you're looking at a new chapter to unfold uh, in this decade, I would say, which has not been the best decade anyway for Delhi. So you're looking at... Probably that, that's when the coaching change, but I th I still don't think till the time the um, uh, the, the co ownership okay. model is sorted, I think problems are going to persist with the franchise. I think you know you know I think uh, mega auctions will change your fortunes next mm. year. It will be better. No. Again, with the same error, coach, it's a, it's forget a, it's about a, it's it. It's a clash of minds. Franchise, different different players, different coaches, and everything. It's a clash yes, of yes. minds. So that that needs to be sorted because who's to say? Let's say I'm just building a scenario right now. What if, let's say, there is one group, let's say the GMR group is with Ponting right now and the Jindal group is backing Saurav Ganguly. What do you do in that case? What do you Shut the team down. No, I'm just saying, this is hypothetical. I'm hmm. just saying, if there is, let's say, that power play, then you don't know. And these are big big names you're talking about as well. So, you don't know how these things function. That's a solid camera placement. I really have to just point it out that the KKR jersey and helmet are right behind me. <laughs> Wonderful. Good good stuff, Pawan. Good stuff. Okay, Devya. As much as I want to have Rinku in the T20 World Cup 11, don't know how management will include him unless Hardik and Jadeja are fourth and fifth bowler and bowl four overs every time. Uh, Divya makes a point. That's why yeah. I said I don't necessarily agree with Harshit. I may still go with six bowlers. But that's a debate for another time. Mm. That will take one hour. I know that. I preempted it. Which is why I said that's his 11. When you sit down to make 11s, it's going to be uh, a tough task. But I will still find a way to put it in Rinko. I'll show you how when we do make the 11. When we make the 11. Okay, Mr. Shekhar says, come on. Uh, intelligence says that Shaw is nothing more than a one innings wonder every season. Ashit was spot on. Approved everyone here wrong. Not hyping last inning. Nikhil, sir, what sample size do you need to advocate his case? I, for once, never said that he's the greatest gift to bat batsmanship. There's a reason why he's been dropped. We're the ones who raise questions. Mm. But if I am making a Delhi 11, 
with the resources that they have he starts for me hmm. he starts for me to begin with he fails five six innings once again has that terrible season he goes out but he starts for me that was my point uh, today is not a great game to see anyway i think majority of them disastrous uh, you know innings barring just rishabh pant to an extent and tristan stubbs and tristan no. stubbs but, but but you know i i i, I won't see i advocated for when we were making the 11s even i had Shaw right up there with Warner, but I didn't have a problem at all in Delhi trying to do something new. That's where I think we differed. Yeah, sure. Delhi talk. Russell and Narain's form has transformed KKR's game with Narain and Saul's explosive opening and strong spin attack. Sure, playoff contenders. Shane, get ready with Ghi Shakkar. Listen, I'm I'm not even kidding. I'll do it. Not By even the way, that's a, that but please please tell me no so in the previous uh, live yes, uh, he was uh, yesterday, yesterday he was saying that KKR are sure shot contenders this that and i want i said very clearly that listen if that happens mari mumbai ghi shakkar so you you send him ghi shakkar yeah, yeah. the exam have happened the dance have happened now ghi shakkar sending ghi shakkar to is the only thing that's left yeah. but that, love his point that takes me to another question who i am not looking at whoever has been given the man of the match i'm not looking at the official who's your man of the match sunil narayan eyes closed Yeah, he got you an eighty, got you a wicket, Nothing at an wrong. economy of like seven Nothing point something. That start, so start one wicket. One wicket. No, no, close start. call. But I think Narayan. Four overs, twenty nine runs, one wicket, plus eight eighty five. Exactly, economy of seven point two. No, nice really. Dream match he had. He beat. Took a catch, took a one handed uh-huh. swipe at the boundary. Well, he's filing. What he could have done? He's filing a petition in the Supreme Court if he's not given the man of the match even tonight. Yeah, uh-huh. player of the match, correct? Had to be. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was obvious choice. Yeah. But I know, you know, impact wise, even Russell, great oh, impact. Yeah. Rinku, Rinku, great impact. But again, the game <coughs> was gone. You didn't, let's say, need the explosiveness of both of those. Let's say the match was sort of gone even before they arrived. Okay, Mr. Shekhar again. He said wants to ask the dear panelists. Does he see KL in the squad? Forget management choice. Uh, wasn't his pathetic batting playing maidens in 2021, 22 enough for you? Is asking you put KL as number one choice. Does he see again, KL in the squad? Forget management choice. Was it is pathetic? It's planning. all about management, buddy. It's all about that selection committee. Going back to the years, every time when an ICC team has been picked, you always say experienced players. Certainly, suddenly, you know, players return. DK, uh, DK returns. Uh, uh, Rohit Virat returns after one and one and a half years to their team. So I, I, I'm not surprised, and I'm, I'll, I'll still say KL Rahul and Rishabh Pant are one and two when it comes to, uh, you know. Uh, that uh, batter wicket keeper role in Indian cricket because this KL Rahul only uh, Lucknow has played three games so far. This still have ten, eleven uh, more to go. If he performs, get up five hundred, six hundred a season, you will see on first May or first week of May or whatever the selection date is that uh, KL Rahul name is there in the Indian squad for upcoming. I hope that doesn't happen. If, if that six hundred runs, but I don't want it. If that game. happens, tomorrow move for Mirchi. Why? Would, see, I, I'm just. You know, No, going no. by the trend, going by those. A fair point. We have uh, our three World Cups in the last three years, two T20 and a ODI and a ODI World Cup. Again, not mixing formats, but every time when you, we, I don't have hopes. I don't <laughs> have uh, from the selection selection committee of uh, yeah, making one something done, new, including a Samson, because I know they have a pattern. They can pick X Y Z team for certain series at home abroad. But it's whatever. a new chief selector. Who's reverted to type by bringing in Rohit and Virat? See, please. But in that whole conversation, we always knew, and we said it here as well, that KL Rahul will not be the kind of name which will cause an uproar as the omission of a KL. No, in fact, KL Rahul's inclusion will cause an uproar. Will no, omission will not cause an uproar. Huh, as, my point exactly. As will the omission of the other two. Um, anyway. Okay. okay. Shubham. Before his accident, Pant started opening in New Zealand. Then why not bring him back as opener? That open slot for Inku also. He was decent as opener in New Zealand. Listen, there's also a Jaspal. Ah, uh, or a Gill. Gill. Yes. Or or a Virat. Virat. Or Virat. So. Two many options. Who will you drop as an opener? You mm-hmm. actually need lower middle order batters. To be fair, or middle order batters. Mm-hmm. So the Vyang says Pant will start unless Jitesh Shah scores like 2023 IPL. Mm-hmm. KL Samson shouldn't be considered. For middle order, when they are playing in the top order in IPL. Fair point. Fair point. Yeah, yeah, we discussed that. Valid point. Though to be fair, Sanju has initially said, and he was made to play a few games in ODI, if I'm not mistaken, lower down the order, and he said he's open to doing that. Anyway. Uh, 
Uh, Pranit is saying Nikhil, unfortunately, Rinku doesn't make it to the playing eleven. I know that that's a big, big debate. Mm. I know that. Uh, I don't think Pranit is saying for him he doesn't make it. I think what Pranit is trying to say it's logistically not possible. Yeah. Eleven, it will not be possible, and that is going to be a big debate. I know. We'll make those elements. Mm -hmm. That that's for, the, oh, for right. another day. We will have. Yeah, 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 yeah. Both. We are in IPL fever now. Yeah. After that, that's exactly what we're going to do. We'll have. Uh, better idea also. We'll have to start doing it, let's yeah, say, yeah, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. in the midst of the IPL. Yes. <laughs> uh, Praneet also adds that he agrees with us that Jitesh has to start in the 11. Pant can be the second keeper if he's fit. He was limping today though, so I'm kind of worried. Good, Good point. 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 Achha, I have a question also. You know, if Pant plays every game till the playoffs mm -hmm. or whatever, doesn't it take a toll on his health, you know, keeping oh, yeah, in mind uh, T20 World Cup, a chances of injury or chances of, you yeah, know. but I don't think he's going to be thinking that far ahead. I think his immediate thought is for the team and to play well and to ensure they qualify. I think once they reach a situation, uh, most mostly I would say that once they reach a situation where they're almost through to the playoff, but for DC, I'll say once they reach a situation when they're almost out of the playoff <laughs> phase, then maybe they but can. But in some my I, corner of the him, mind, one might be thinking of a place in T20, you know, upcoming. Mm, sure, but, but that, not at the cost of not oh, giving yeah. his best. See, the reason that he was made captain was, I think, after conversation that is he ready to give his all and be available for all games. After that conversation has happened, that's how he's gone ahead. So I think immediate step is that. And see, I know that T20 World Cup back of his mind, but you remember where he's coming from, where he said that this is like a second life every. Day that yeah. he's, you know, he's back, yeah. yeah, improving was great for him, and that he made a comeback. That itself is a victory for him, and that he's playing and keeping and batting as well. All of that are big, you know, touch foot, touch small foot. victories for him, and he'll keep, you know, taking it step by step. I think. Mm -hmm. Pranit again. He says that DC's downside happened after Shreyas was let go off by Ponting. And the formula of having uh, the Indian top order and foreign finisher with two international fast bowlers. I agree, Usko. Oh, that's correct. That's correct. Because if I remember that DC team, you'd have openers being Shikhar Dhawan and Prithvi Shaw. Mm -hmm. Your top order after that 3-4, you had uh, Ayer, uh, you had uh, Pant. Pant. Thereafter, lower down the order, who would you have? You would have... Uh, hey? oh, uh, Dreras hasn't been reduced his twin. And what am I saying now? <laughs> uh, Roman Park. No, not Rovman. Pre yeah. Rovman. Are, Baba, pre Rovman, you had Marcus Stoinis and Shimron Hetmeyer, who were far better players. Yeah. And then, your uh, because you understand it, that you had so many batters, you could play both Kagisa Rabada yeah. and Heinrich Nokia, Nokia in the same 11. The, from, to go from that to where they are now, yeah. Okay, Mr. Shekhar sent a question. He says, I understand management may decide to go in with a KL Rahul, but he says all of you are here for your opinion. So, does KL deserve to be there? He's asking Sarah that question. So, Sarah, Personally. break it down to you. What he's asking is not to tell the likely 11, but to tell what's the best 11. The difference is when you pick a likely 11, then you pick an 11 you think the team will pick. Mm. When you pick the best 11, it's your opinion as to what the best team is. So now he's asking you, in your opinion, who are your top two meter keeper batter? Forget, like you made your point that you know how management teams, they've done it. He says, forget management. Saranj is chairman of select. And all the other four chairmen of select, uh, uh, not chairmen, the selectors are unwell that day. They have given you power of attorney. <laughs> that you will pick the team. The captain and the coach are also there in the selection meeting. They are saying, we are a bit confused. Chairman of selector, Mr. Saranj, whoever you pick, you are going with. Who is Saranj? No, obviously, I then Pant plays. I, Pant and Ditesh both oh. will be the squad. That's then his kill them, but yeah, if. I had to. saying what the team. Every is. time it happens, you know, just before uh, anything. We, we pick those teams, yeah. You're not a regular, you don't know. We pick one team which we like. And one, one will, will be picked. Which will be picked. <laughs> which will disappoint. We've we done that multiple times. Sports to 11, like, and then uh, like 11. the eventual 11. Uh, that's, uh, <laughs> Mr. Sekhar, then obviously, Jitesh and Pant plays those both options as one and two. Good point. On that note, let's call it a night. How long have we gone on for? One hour, ten minutes. One hour, ten minutes. Not bad. You guys take care, enjoy. If you're a Kolkata fan like uh, Saranch and Shane, because uh, you have the night is still young for you many guys. Many more nights enjoy. to come, many more if, longer nights to come. If you are a Delhi fan, then like Harshit, you've probably already fallen asleep. <laughs> Good night. Drowning take your sorrows, probably. Good night, take care, bye bye. 
வணக்கம் நன்றி சுப்ராத்ரி சபாக்கேர் नमस्ते बाय बाय ஈட் யுவர் வெஜிடபிள்ஸ் ஓ வெயிட் ஹோல் ஆன் वी हैव अनदर क्वेश्चन डू वी या ओके वन फाइव कार्तिक के हम एसआरएस मैनेजमेंट बीइंग कंपेयर्ड टू डीसी पीबी केयर्स इज ऑफेंसिव two championships one is deccan chargers several playoff and runners up agree management is in grade of late yes karthik i know their history and i also know that this is the same srh management who has bungling things up in the ipl have won back to back as a 20s so there is definitely a good management there somewhere It just hasn't come into impact lately in the ipl because again they were finalists in 2018 mm. the finalists so i agree with you uh, i'm going to take sports enthusiast comment he says please make a video on chess candidates today itself we're going to do it but our chess expert is in in so it's going to come your way tomorrow and by the way it doesn't end there it's going to carry on till uh, you know mid april till the candidates who want so regular updates we did it last time as well i remember we even went live for a certain game we'll try and do that this for time. the world cup yeah yeah yes. chess world yeah. cup we so we toronto right that's what's happening is the candidates yeah. in toronto yeah jesus okay take care bye bye Bye-bye. Eat your vegetables and don't trouble your mothers. Don't forget this match happened. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. Oh.